What's up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach, five out of five. And if you haven't watched it, please watch Monday's episode titled Urgent Message. Uh, if you haven't watched it, the short of it is, is that there could be an emergency broadcast system warning that goes off this weekend. So it might be a good time to take to uh, prepare with supplies, food, cash, stuff like that and then also not financial advice. But if you haven't got your Caleb and Brown account, might be a good time to do it, to have make sure that your crypto is safe and you don't lose your crypto. Be able to take profits once we actually hit those beautiful moon targets. So the link is down below to Caleb and Brown. It only takes about, uh, literally it took me like a day to just create an account and also to KYC it. And then to fund it, we all know how fast XRP sends it. Don't we know that much? So anyway, and also a little bit more about that is just that in short, you know, the beginning of next week could possibly see a market crash. Uh, as the events unfold, that would just be kind of falling into that black swan event. And then the timeline is also look f uh, towards uh, a possible reset uh, between November 5th and November 20th of the financial system. Yeah, it's a possibility. So, and indeed, if that does happen with the problem reaction solution, we could see a flip of the switch moment, in which case we see we could see XRP instantly settle between three and four digits. Uh, and, and by the way, that shock to the system is not if, but when. Uh, again, Rosie Rios has been saying that for years in order to usher in a whole new system, you need a shock to the system. So what they call controlled demolition. And don't forget about the XRP 007 proper party here on Venice Island, April 29th to 2025. We can accommodate 500 guests or 250 couples. Tickets are 250 bucks. Buy a ticket when you're feeling it. And also, thank you as always. We're getting close to, we're just about 400 subs away from that beautiful sweet 16,000 subscribers. It's gonna be awfully nice. And thank you so much. Uh, Monday's video, we are well over 11,000 views and welcome my new 50 subs uh, from that video. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a hump day. And then if you do Twitter, follow me at Rob XRP 007. In the comments, uh, B E K N D says, When can I come to the XRP party? He says, I really need some fun. It's been so long. Man, I know so many of us feel that way too, as well. It's like, I've been waiting four years to throw this party. Oh my gosh, or three years, an extra three years now, four years. Uh, and then also, uh, this is like as we kind of dig into this stuff that we have going on. The SEC yesterday, this was kind of blowing up the internet, uh, issued a warning to Ripple and gave them a four-day extension to file that uh, cross appeal. Fred Rispoli chimed in and said, hey, when you're paying your attorney $8,000 an hour, can you imagine? Yeah, they better get it in on time. Come on, get, get busy, Stu. We love you, Stuart Otterwilde. Uh He's a pit bull and this, along with uh, John Deaton, so we are well cared for. So anyway, there might have been a rhyme and a reason why they were doing that. Who knows? Uh, and then also currently we've got Bitcoin trading at 60, uh, what have we got, 66,000. Uh, it's down about 2% and XRP's at 52 cents. It's down about 2% and forget, and, and also in, from Monday's episode, uh, Mango Way says that we could retest on Bitcoin 59 to 60K where you can get that last bite of the apple. So go find some loose change in between the car seats because we might have a buying opportunity one last time. Nobody likes hearing that, neither do I, but it is what it is. And we are now less than two weeks away from an election. Will the elections even happen? I don't know, but if we do have an election, I would anticipate that they may not know the results for weeks. If it's anything like the last time around this merry-go-round. And Elon Musk, by the way, he does kind of mention and points out something that's kind of disturbing. He says six states are, are uh, only six states are the swing states here in the U.S. And he says you only need to flood illegal immigrants into those six states to turn an election. Yes, and those illegal immigrants, uh, they do have, are able to vote. Yes, don't believe it is true. Uh, Kamala Harris uh, did receive 11 million from Chris Larson. That was much a buzz as well up on the internet. And also it made uh, XRP, some people kind of boycotting XRP, selling off their XRP, don't believe it is true. Was there a, a strategic uh, method to his math madness or does he just support the campaign? Uh, maybe a little both. Uh, Kamala, by the way, she said that she would spend it on some meme ape coins. 
bricks, by the way, that summit started yesterday. Uh, it's in full swing. Uh, has anything really popped off of that? I'm going to watch it close like a, a hawk. Nothing really to set the world on fire as of yet. And then uh, yesterday as well, Brad and Chris did speak at the Federal Reserve up in Pennsylvania. Uh, Mom's word on that. Didn't even get anything that kind of moved a needle on that one as well. e -grad Crypto, quote of the day, uh, is that, oh, and I love this one. So sweet. Generational wealth begins with one risk taker. I'll put that one up there. That is so cool. Uh, another bite of, uh, an, oh yeah, and another brick, uh, uh, another brick in the wall. This is huge. Ripple partners with one of the largest banks in Turkey. And also it coincided with a $60 million of XRP moved to an unknown wallet where those uh, uh, tied into one another. And uh, who's mom, by the way? Um, this is interesting because, you know, when we talk about um, and I might title, I know I'm going to title this episode yet, but you know, it's like XRP, the sleeping giant's about to awaken. And if you just kind of zoom out and look at this in a bigger, broader picture, some of the largest players and entities out there, BlackRock uh, has an NDA with, uh, with Ripple. And you can see Larry Fink, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. Bank of America with a patent with XRP, they have not officially announced IMF where Brad uh, Garlinghouse famously is on stage with a lawyer and he says, we have to be careful how we word things around here. Some of the biggest entities out there in the absolute world, BlackRock with 11 trillion on uh, management and then Bank of America moving $10 trillion daily. And you don't think XRP can't hit four digit? What of the day, XRP resurrected, says uh, TA down uh, for a little TA down by the beach fund, popcorn ready overnight, any day. That was from Monday's episode. Yeah, that's the way I kind of feel like. We are, it's going to happen when you least, at least expect it. I kid you not. And then as XRP, as 24 Hours Crypto says up on YouTube, he says, in a blink of an eye, those are my words, he says XRP can go to $5 in, wait for it, a month, a year, five in seconds. <laughs> that's, a, that's his thumbnail for that episode. Black Swan Capitalist said the U.S. US is offloading its debt onto you. Uh, with endless taxation and uh, and inflation, and it's causing inflammation in all of us too as well. <laughs> Emily up on Twitter says things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, Coinbase finally changed Ripple XRP to XRP. It's about time. Uh, Fiat Leak says the past 12 hours, uh, XRP increase, increased uptick, uptick in whale activities as the uh, SEC Ripple battle intensifies. Yes, it has indeed. Alex Cobb, thank you for not live streaming, by the way, uh, says that Elon, just kind of recapping, says Elon Musk acknowledges XRP uh, and supports John Deaton within a 24-hour people. A lot of people said that Elon nothing, uh, Elon Musk uh, mentioning XRP was a, a nothing burger. Au contraire, there's a thing that says repetition is a key to success uh, makes things breeds familiarity and as people get more familiar uh, exposure and familiar with xrp and ripple then that's when you start to see new money come into this space and wait until that big boys come in here the financial institutions and the banks huge metamask uh users uh can now access xrp ledger welcome to the party pal and i'm talking about all 30 million of you guys uh, that are users of our metamask so that's also just increasing the exposure of xrp as well well alert and there's so many different so many different channels that that we are you know moving into whether it's gaming metamask uh you know visa mastercard you know so many different uh, uh, vertical markets that we're looking at too donations i think i mentioned about a week ago there's xrps used for uh for fundraising uh well alert uh 200 million move to unknown wallet uh stirring uh, uh potential settlement um speculation BC Backer says XRP uh, memes have hit XRP. Uh, and he goes on to say, strictly gambling, he says, use extreme caution. Uh, it's so, so true. And yes, now we will have XRP meme, follow, uh, meme FOMO on the XRP ledger. And then also, just keep in mind, I saw this, I can't sure who put it out. When you see a meme coin, there will be fake meme coins that have the same name, so don't get hoodwinked by that. And then for me, personal, not financial advice, I'll stick with the tokens with real use case. Digital Perspective from yesterday says the volume of some of the playas 
as in Les Grossman would call it. Uh, here it is. Uh, MasterCard has 1.5 billion credit cards, and they have a partnership on the back end with Ripple, and so does a Visa. And then uh, half of the world's, he notates, and this is amazing, half of the world's population has exposure and connected to the back end of XRP and the XRP ledger. And it makes me think of other entities we've been talking about for so long. Swift now, Fed now, I mean Swift, Fed now, BRICS, SBI. IMF it goes on and on. For a little TA down by the beach, this is from XRP Resurrected. This is the one that has me smiling. When in doubt, zoom out. And you know, it's kind of fun if you start to getting into trading, being able to swing trade. What you want to do is see that repetition from um, breakouts on lower time frames into larger ones from the four hour to the daily, from the daily to the weekly, from the weekly to the monthly. And uh, this is where all the action happens is that XRP Resurrected says on the monthly, uh, XRP has done three taps on the bottom. And usually what happens after that, XRP is ready to run. So whether we get, and I will be looking at the monthly close, which is next Tuesday, I believe, which is Halloween. I can't remember the date. It's October 31st is, uh, is when we have next Thursday. I wrote it down. Next Thursday is the close. Uh, let's hope and see that we get a really big close for XRP. And then uh, if we do, uh, it, again, look for November and December to be big and huge. Miles G Investments, and shout out to you, GW. And Miles as well it says, uh, XRP, he gives, he chimed in uh, yesterday about where he thinks the price of XRP will go and comes up with a real conservative target. And I'll mention this as well. He says, XRP, $3 by Christmas. And also it gives a little range between 3 and $7. And I, yeah, I, I have to say, it's like with a $3 XRP, is it $10? No. Is it $100? No. Is it $20? No. But you know what? I'll absolutely be smiling and take it. That will be a great Christmas for so many. Keep in mind, that's a 6X from here. And that would take you about 60, 60 years in the stock market to get those kind of gains. So a $3 XRP, that's a very pretty Christmas for me. Let's hope we see high because oh, man, that's just exciting. I love that. Stick that one up there. And I will be going over my other dates too. Uh, one more reason to get your Caleb and Brown, uh, that is the tax crypto laws will be changing in 2025 and also in 2026. Uh, starting beginning next year, all the exchanges, uh, they have to report everything you do. And when you move money off to your cold wallet, they got to report that. Everything you do, all the activity, it is recorded on the blockchain. They will start monitoring that in 2025 with the exchanges and others. So a good reason for me anyway, I want to have all my ducks in a row this year, all in their little bitty places, ready to go, and not not be a, but not wait until next year. And that's just one more reason. All right, Brad Garland House. He says, and let this sink in. This man said this over time. So many other things. Is he telling you and that XRP indeed is going to hit five digits? Yes, we're talking about a ten thousand dollar plus XRP. He says we work with the system and we can solve a problem at scale. That's called wholesale payments of governments, massive payments. We can solve a problem at scale um, uh, measured in trillions of dollars. And he goes on to say XRP could be the next Bitcoin. So when you're solving a, a problem that's in the trillions of dollars, and yes, I think we reported in the last episode, DTCC, uh, with the derivatives that they're like, they, they went to Congress, said that they do three quadrillion annually. So again, XRP at four digits, I have zero doubt. Versan says, uh, International Money Fund, and, all way, and also this, to chime in on this. And then when you kind of relate this with Brad Garland House on stage with IMF and their lawyer going, mm, we can't comment on this. And Versan says, the International Money Fund already agreed upon a price for XRP a few years back. Probably when this video, and then Brad did that video. He says, it's in, Ursan says, that agreed upon price is in the thousands. Black Swan Capitalist. Now, to end this episode, best or last, just kind of gonna do a little bit of my outlook. I call it the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's just start with like the ugly. So the ugly is like, and actually it's great. i will be really happy to have a $3. If we have a $3 XRP by Christmas, I'm really happy, I'm grateful. If we have a 50 cent XRP, that's totally coal in my stocking for sure. But so that's what I'm looking at far as it's like the worst case, you know, it's like, that would be the worst case. That'd be horrible in my humble opinion to have 50 cent XRP around Christmas. But anyway, $3 by XRP 
by, by Christmas would be wonderful. Uh, then the, you know, the good would be FIB targets that we talk about all the time on this channel, uh, whether you're talking about a $10 XRP to a $30 XRP in that wide range. Uh, I'm looking for that hit somewhere between Q1 and Q2. Could happen earlier. I think around that February to March, end of February, somewhere right in there. Could be as late as May. All right. And then the last one, and this is the one that you can bank on historically. You can bank on this one more than anyone, uh, any other one is that uh, Bitcoin usually has the top of its cycle 540 days after the Bitcoin halving. That would put it around the end of summer of 2025. And then somewhere around that time, which is the end of September and October is when you'll see that. That fifth wave of XRP, for me, I'm looking at at least a minimum of like bare minimum it would be like an 80 75 dollars bare minimum but i'm thinking it'd be more in that one to two hundred dollar range and then the just majestic price point is if the event hold on to your seats if we have a black swan event and that flip of the switch moment happen between now and the end of november the last little bit of for a pint of hopium uh, and this is from a YouTube influencer that has a lot of credibility out there, works with a lot of high net worth individuals. Seems to have a really good inside lane with, with other things, with bankers and other kind of high end uh, institutions, so forth. But he says he expects our XRP to hit three to four digits by the end of the year. That'll do it for me, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.